I'm Charlie Stern. You're watching Real School Talk. I'm going to take a look today at a Daily News editorial that was written by Eva Moskowitz, September 3rd, 2015. So Eva Moskowitz is the founder and CEO of Success Academy Charter Schools, which is widely known as one of the most successful chains of charter schools any place, and she's certainly a superstar of the charter school community. She makes her point in this editorial last Thursday with the following final sentence. It's hard to understand why a mayor, she's talking about Mayor de Blasio, who believes in equality does not support the one type of public school charters with the potential to integrate our horribly segregated school system. Well, I think anyone thinking would agree with that statement. So I took a closer look at some of the examples that she gave in the article. So she points out PS 191, which is on the Upper West Side, uh, and compares it with Success Academy Upper West, which is Success Academy School. Here are the 2015 grade 3 8 assessment results for PS 191. I see what Eva Moskowitz is talking about. Top right corner, only 12% of the students at PS 191 were able to do English at grade level. So let's compare that with Success Academy 20 blocks away. 85% of those students were able to do the English exam and score proficiency, which means level three or level four. So let's drill down a little bit further and see what else might be different between these two schools. A, B comparison. PS 191, 72 students with disabilities. Success Academy, only 28. But out of those 28, 68% of them were able to perform grade level work. At the uh, regular public school, not one single special ed child was able to do grade level work. There's no smoking gun, but there are some interesting data points. At PS191, 221 out of 256 children were economically disadvantaged of the test takers. And about 10% of them could do grade level work on English. At Success Academy, 44 out of 170 students were economically disadvantaged, a considerably lower number and a considerably lower percentage. However, Success Academy was able to produce better results and about 70% of the economically disadvantaged children were able to perform grade level English results. So what else is different about these schools? This is the inside of PS191, looks pretty nice. This is the inside of Success Academy, also looks very nice. This is the principal of Success Academy. She has a master's degree from Bank Street. This is the principal of PS191. She has a master's degree from Hunter College, one of the best education schools in the country. So I will go argue and go back to um, Ms. Moskowitz's essay this week and say that it is not the economic diversity or the racial diversity of these schools that's causing one to do better than the other. It's a hundred little things about how the program is being run. It's the teaching, it's the length of the school day and the school year, the size of the school, and all of these things taken together are resulting in a better program that's more appropriate to the level of every single child that's in the school. Black parents and white parents, parents with more means and parents with less means are all looking for the same thing, which is a chance for their children to achieve. And one thing I've always admired about Eve Moskowitz is that she is the one who's willing to say parents don't have the time to wait can't wait a generation or two generations for the schools to straighten out. Charter schools are an opportunity to inject change and accelerate that change very, very rapidly. And, and I think that's exactly what Success Academy has done.